Do you know how you're going to pay for retirement? Most of us probably think our 401ks will see us through, or we hope, but there are more than 2 million working Pennsylvanians who do not have an employer-based retirement or IRA plan. As KDK Money Editor John Delano explains, the state treasurer and a bipartisan group of lawmakers want to change that with something called Keystone Saves. When it comes to saving for retirement, the figures are pretty astounding. 40% of the private sector workforce does not have access to an employer-sponsored IRA or 401k. And with private sector pensions all but gone and Social Security inadequate to live on, it's a struggle for those without savings to retire. In Harrisburg on Monday, State Treasurer Stacy Garrity said it's time that all workers had access to a retirement savings program. So she embraced a bipartisan bill that will require all employers in Pennsylvania with five or more employees to enroll its workers, those who wish, in a treasury administered retirement savings program. Garrity says workers are 15 times more likely to save when they get an option to do so at work. She called her plan business friendly because the employer does not have to contribute into the fund. And other than deducting whatever an employee wants to save from a paycheck, the employer doesn't have to do anything. The treasurer says if the legislature fails to act, retirees, if unable to support themselves in retirement, will cost all taxpayers in the end. And this lack of access to retirement savings has long-term impacts on both their personal lives and every taxpayer in our state. Now, if we don't do something to help Pennsylvanians save for retirement, those unprepared retirees will cost taxpayers more than $14 billion in increased state social services. And at the same time, we're gonna lose out on $1.5 billion in tax collections due to reduced consumer spending. The bill's two sponsors, Republican Tracy Pennycook and Democrat Michael Driscoll, say they hope the bill will pass the legislature in 2022. If enacted, the treasurer says the program would be phased in over the next two to four years, starting with the largest employers who do not offer retirement benefits. John Delano, KDKA News.